Well, Dave, at the time, had been working second shift. He woke up in the morning. He had worked the night before, and he was having chest pain, and his arm was tingling. And I told him, I said, well, maybe you're having a heart attack. So I called his mother and told her we're on the way to the hospital. He managed to make it into the door and checked himself in, and they got him into a room and heard the code blue. Uh, and I knew that was him. The last thing I remember is there's something wrong with your EKG going to airlift you to Grand Rapids. And I was out, you know, 10 days or whatever it was. Said a lot of prayers, and um, next thing I know, we were getting in my sister-in-law's car, and uh, she drove my mother-in-law and I to Grand Rapids. The reason he needed to go to Grand Rapids was the specialist and the, the care that he was going to get was um, so much more advanced. Dave's case was one of those in my 22 years practicing as a cardiologist I'll, I'll never forget. Dave uh, kept having multiple cardiac arrests, um, had exhausted everything to stabilize him, uh, you know, a fear that we were going to lose him. So we put him on the tandem heart, basically as the name implies, a circulatory support system that works in tandem with the patient's own heart, but is enough to support them even if their own heart is not pumping. This procedure is really it's a team event. Uh, you need a whole group of people that knows how to use the equipment, put it together, get everything right. Although a typical case in here might involve um, a total of four to five people, for a procedure like Dave's we maybe had 10 to 12 people. We did it, uh, we got him on support and rapidly stabilized him. We took him off the pump four days later. Fairly dramatic, his heart had recovered enough to get him off of the pump. I remember Tuesday when he just started waking up uh, about a week later. And then from you know, there on out was a pretty dramatic you know, ongoing recovery. Just very gratifying to see the you know, impact something, you know, a decision like that had you know, that allowed him to recover. It means everything um, that this hospital uh, is here because without the tandem heart, he would not have made it. It's hard to put into words, but you know, how, how do you thank somebody for your life? You, you can't, you know, you talk to the nurses and doctors, oh, you know, it's just my job, but you know, it takes a special person to, to do that kind of job, and you got a lot of them here, so thank you much. <laughs>